From the Adoramus Hymnal, Ignatius Press, San Francisco, 1997, from their Christmas selection, beginning with number 320, and from the CD set that accompanied the hymnal, Disc 2, 
numbers 35 and following. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. From Luke 2, 20, verses 20 and 21. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Isaiah 52, 7 and 8. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, saying to Zion, Your God is King. From Luke 2. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David a Savior has been born for you who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Isaiah 9, 1 and 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you at the harvest. Lord Jesus, into your nail-pierced hands we place all the regrets and resentments of the past, all of our fears and worries of the future, all of our present problems. As we turn to you, 
and place our trust in you. As you say to the heart of each one of us, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. Take up my yoke and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. O oh, Father, we thank you for this day that has passed, and we ask your forgiveness for the ways in which we have not cooperated with your grace fully, the ways in which we have not loved you with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, and our neighbor as ourselves, the ways in which we have not done to others as we would have them do to us. And we thank you for the leading of your grace, for all the good that has been done in this day. For we trust in you as our Father, for we are adopted by baptism and grace. May we truly live as your children, trusting in the infinite merits of Jesus Christ, the eternal word who has become one of us, who has poured out from you the Holy Spirit upon us. Amen. The Ten Commandments. I am the Lord your God. You shall not have strange gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol out of anything. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Remember to keep holy the Lord's day. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Honor your father and your mother. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. You shall not kill. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. You shall not commit adultery. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. You shall not steal. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. You shall not bear false witness. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. You shall not covet your neighbor's goods. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Or in Greek, Kiri e eleison, Kiri e eleison, Kiri e eleison, Priste eleison, Priste eleison. Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Compline of night prayer. for a feast day of a Sunday after evening prayer too. O oh God, come to my assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. And for our hymn, let us sing number 32 on page 186 or page 280 in the, the hymnal, parish hymnal, 
the angel Gabriel from heaven came. The angel Gabriel from heaven came. His wings as drifted snow, his eyes as flame. All hail, said he, O lowly maiden Mary, most highly favoured lady, Gloria. For no a blessed mother you shall be, all generations praise continually. Your son shall be Emmanuel by seers foretold, most highly favoured lady, Gloria. Then gentle Mary meekly bowed her head, To me be as it pleases God, she said, My soul shall laud and magnify his holy name, most highly favoured lady, Gloria. Of her Emmanuel the Christ was born, in Bethlehem all on a Christmas morn, and Christian folk throughout the world will ever say, most highly favoured lady, Gloria. Antiphon for the psalm. Night holds no terrors for me sleeping under God's wings. Night holds no terrors for me sleeping under God's wings. Psalm 91. Safe in God's sheltering care. I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Luke 10, 19. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty says to the Lord, My refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. It is he who will free you from the snare of the fowler, who seeks to destroy you. He will conceal you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that prowls in the darkness, nor the scourge that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand fall at your right. You it will never approach. His faithfulness is buckler and shield. Your eyes have only to look to see how the wicked are repaid. You who have said, Lord, my refuge, and have made the Most High your dwelling. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach where you dwell. For you has he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you upon their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. On the lion and the viper you will tread, and trample the young lion and dragon. Since he clings to me in love, I will free him. Protect him, for he knows my name. When he calls, I shall answer, I am with you. I will save him in distress and give him glory. With the length of life, I will content him. I shall let him see my saving power. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Night holds no terrors for me sleeping under God's wings. Night holds no terrors for me 
sleeping under God's wings. A reading from the book of Revelation, the 22nd chapter, the 4th and 5th verses. They shall see him face to face and bear his name on their foreheads. The night shall be no more, and they will need no light from lamps or the sun, for the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever. Responsory. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Antiphon of the Nunc Dimittis. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep. That us wake, we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. The Gospel Canticle of Simeon, the Nunc Dimittis, Luke 2, 29-32. Christ is the light of the nations and the glory of Israel. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Antiphon for the Nunc Dimittis. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, we beg you to visit this house and banish from it all the deadly power of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell here to keep us in peace, and may your blessing be upon us always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the all-powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful death. Amen. Loving Mother of the Redeemer, Gate of Heaven, Star of the Sea, assist your people who have fallen, yet strive to rise again. To the wonderment of nature, you bore your Creator yet remained a virgin after as before. You who receive Gabriel's joyful greeting, have pity on us poor sinners. Father, source of light in every age, the Virgin conceived and bore your Son, who is called Wonderful God, Prince of Peace. May her prayer, the gift of a mother's love, be your people's joy through all, all ages. May her response, born of a humble heart, draw your spirit to rest on your people. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Father, as we celebrate the motherhood of the Virgin Mary, as Mother of God, the Word incarnate, let us ever be drawn to adore her Son, Christ the Lord, who is true God and true man, and who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. 
Amen. O Lord God, you are the glory of believers in the life of the just. Your Son redeemed us by dying and rising again. Our brothers and sisters who have gone before us in your grace were faithful and believed in their own resurrection. Give them the joys and blessings of the life to come. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom comes down every good and perfect gift, we give you thanks for all your benefits, temporal and spiritual, bestowed upon us in the year past. And we thank you for our deliverance through many trials of this past year. And we ask you, in your goodness and mercy, to pour out your grace, to give us a grace-filled, favorable, and joyful year, a new year, reliant upon your providence. Defend us from all dangers and adversities, and send upon us the fullness of your blessing. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. O Lord God, who for our sake have made your blessed Son our Savior subject to the law and caused him to endure the circumcision of the flesh, grant us the true circumcision of the Spirit that our hearts may be pure from all sinful desires and lusts. Through the same, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, direct our actions according to your will and the power of your grace, that the name of your beloved Son, who became one of us, who became helpless in the womb of the Virgin Mary and helpless in the manger of Bethlehem, that by his grace, through his incarnation, death, and resurrection, we may abound in good works. Through the same, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O oh, Heavenly Father, who long ago watched your Son be born in the flesh and grow as in stature, so in wisdom and in perfect love of you in his humanity, teach by the wonderf wondrous testimony of Jesus and his church, the children whom you have adopted by your grace, whom you now watch, the children throughout the world, that they may grow into his likeness and be protected from all harm of body, mind, and spirit. 
grant that they may grow loving you, obedient to your will, and happy as children of your household. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. O Lord Jesus Christ, O great mystery and wonderful sacrament, that animals should see you as the newborn Lord, lying in a manger, you who are God incarnate. Blessed is the virgin whose womb was made fit to bear you, Christ, her Lord and ours. And may we be open in heart to receive you. You who were rejected to be born in an inn, but were born in a stable. To you be glory forever. For you humbled yourself to be born of the Virgin and laid in a manger. So now we call all lost humanity to your heavenly kingdom. O God, whose years are without end and who dwell in the light of an unending day. As we begin this new year in your name, Grant us wisdom to use our time wisely, that your love may be the beginning and the ending of all our hopes, our work, our joy, and our desires. Amen. O God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose years never fail and whose mercies are new each returning day, let the radiance of your Spirit renew our lives, warming our hearts and giving light to our minds, that we may pass the coming year in joyful obedience and firm faith through him who is the beginning and the end, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant we pray that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that as we are bathed in the new radiance of your incarnate word, the light of faith, which illumines our minds, may also shine through in our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her, to whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A Blessing Before a Christmas Stable by Father Peter John Cameron, Dominican from the December Magnificat 
page 381. No one, whether a shepherd or wise man, can approach God here below except by kneeling before the manger at Bethlehem and adoring him hidden in the weakness of a newborn child. Catechism of the Catholic Church, 563. Lord Jesus, as I come before your manger in adoration, let my first Christmas word be thank you. Thank you, gift of the Father, for coming to save me from my sins. Without you, I do not know even how to be human. The characteristics of your human body express the divine person of God's Son. And in that wondrous expression, Lord, you reveal me to myself. Thank you for that saving revelation in your sacred humanity. As the Christmas liturgy proclaims in Christ, we experience the holy exchange that restores our life. Thank you for coming as one like myself to save me from myself. You came as a baby because babies are irresistible and adorable. You come as a baby because you want our first impression of God incarnate to be that of one who does not judge. How I long to be united with you in every way. May I never be attracted to the allurements and charms of the world. May I love you always, at every moment, and with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. May the tenderness, the dependency, and the mercy that you reveal in your infancy become hallmarks of my life. Newborn Savior, the very silence of your incarnation proclaims that the, an they, that the answer to the misery, the strife, and the meaninglessness we often experience in life cannot be found within us. You alone are the answer. As I come before you, Eternal King, I surrender to you all my selfishness, self-absorption, self-indulgences, self-righteousness, self-assertion, and self-exaltation. Even as I adore you on this night of your birth, rid me of the nagging desire to be adored. Word made flesh, you make your dwelling among us, yet you do not live your life for yourself, but for us. And you enable us to live in you, all that you yourself lived. Help me to embrace this truth with all my mind and heart. Come and live your life in me. Empty me of my willfulness, my petulance, my hardness, my cynicism, my contemptuousness. Fill me with your truth, your strength, your fortitude, your purity, your gentleness, your generosity, your wisdom your heart, and your grace. O Emmanuel, may the assurance of your unfailing presence be for me the source of unending peace. May I never fear my weakness, my inadequacy, or my imperfection. Rather, as I gaze with faith, hope, and love upon your incarnate littleness, may I love my own littleness, for God is with us. Endow my life with the holy wonder that leads me ever more deeply into the mystery of redemption and the meaning of my vocation and destiny. Longed for Messiah, your servant, St. Leo the Great, well wrote that in the very act of reverencing the birth of our Savior, we are also celebrating our own new birth. From this night on, may my life be a dedicated life of faith, marked by holy reliance, receptivity, and resoluteness. May I make of my life a total gift of self. May I, my humble worship of your nativity manifest how much I seek the Father's kingship and his way of holiness. The beauty of your holy face bears the promise that your Father will provide for us in all things. This Christmas, I renew my trust in God's goodness compassion and providence. I long for the day when you will teach us to pray, our Father. May your presence, Prince of Peace, bless the world with peace, 
the poor with care and prosperity, the despairing with hope and confidence, the grieving with comfort and gladness, the oppressed with freedom and deliverance, the suffering with solace and relief. Loving Jesus, you are the only real joy of every human heart. I place my trust in you. O oh, divine fruit of Mary's womb, may I love you in union with the Holy Mother of God. May my life be filled with the obedience of St. Joseph and the missionary fervor of the shepherds, so that the witness of my life may shine like the star that leads the Magi to your manger. I ask all this with great confidence in your holy name. Amen. Today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Messiah and Lord. Luke 2, 11. O strange ruler, O unexpected judge, O wonder counselor, God, hero, father forever and prince of peace. You were born as a child among the world's unimportant people. From the beginning, O oh Savior, you upset every standard by which the unredeemed world has ruled and assessed itself. Help me to celebrate this Christmas time in truth and to allow my eyes to be opened to God's view of reality. Open my heart to those who are in true need. Open my compassion to be a channel of your compassion. Deepen my faith, my hope, and my love. I ask this of you, O Lord, incarnate God, that you present our needs and petitions to the Father who loves us and who has adopted us through your infinite merits. in the power of the grace of baptism, in the power of the Holy Spirit. And we ask this in your name. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, of life, of sweetness, and of hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Salve Regina. Mate misericordiae, vite dulcedo, espe nostre salve. A te clamamus, exules filii eve. A te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Eha ergo. Advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes oculos, ad nos confete, et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende, o oh, clemens. Oh, Pia, oh, Dulcis, Virgo, Maria. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. O Eucharistic Lord Jesus, I adore you, truly present among us. As you said, behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. And my flesh is food indeed, my blood is drink indeed. And as we now adore you, truly present, and acknowledge before the world, believe and profess, that you are truly present, body, blood, soul, and divinity, here, under the sign of this bread, this host. And may you be adored here and in all the tabernacles and altars throughout the world and upon your majestic throne in heaven that you share with the Father and the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits thee near, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide, amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place my trust in you. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place my trust in you. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place my trust in you. O heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, who are everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come dwell within us and cleanse our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to God who reigns above. Let peace surround the earth. Mortals shall know their maker's love at their redeemer's birth. Glory to God who reigns above. Let peace surround the earth. Mortals shall know their maker's love at their Redeemer's birth. Glory to God who reigns above. Let peace surround the earth. Mortals shall know their Maker's love at their Redeemer's birth. Glory to God who reigns above. Let peace 
Earth's round the Earth, mortals shall know their Maker's love at their Redeemer's birth. I confess to Almighty God, the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, and all the saints, and you, brethren, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I beseech Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, the holy apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints. And you, brethren, to pray for me unto the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. I confess to Almighty oh God, O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kate O'Neill, have a blessed night and a blessed new year. Christ is born, glorify him. Maureen Tibbetts. Christ is born, glorify him. Gabriella Bethany. Christ is born, glorify him. Bob Henry. Christ is born, glorify him. Gary Graveline Sr. Christ is born, glorify him. Elizabeth Ann, Christ is born, glorify him. John Covert, Christ is born, glorify him. Marianne de Justo Ofstein, Christ is born, glorify him. Chris Bernica, Christ is born, glorify him. David Driscoll, Christ is born, glorify him. Father Paul Ring, Christ is born, glorify him. Have a blessed night, a blessed new year. For Christ is born, glorify him. Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Barbara Reedy, Christ is born, glorify him. Good night now. <laughs>